Today we had the opportunity to visit uh, a few components of the Finnish education system. Uh, we started this morning in a school that had just started integrating coding, at scratch programming actually, just like back home, and uh, into their schools, uh, into their curriculum. Uh, and also that started integrating the use of iPads and uh, mobile technology, so GPS, etc., with very young kids, uh, second graders actually. So we had the opportunity to see that this morning. And then later on, uh, the same morning, we visited a second school uh, where similarly there was a lot of technologies being pulled into schools, but that one really had a strong arts component to it too. And back home we always tend to call it STEAM, right? STEM, science, technology, engineering, math are kind of the, the disciplines that drive the economy in a lot of way. But a lot of people always say, you got to add the A, right? You got to make it steam so that we're including the arts and driving all those technologies with a, with a dose of creativity. So we got a very good look at that at the second school we were at. Joten kun sä kuulet nimesi, sä meet grafeteihin ja sä laitat tämän koodin sinne. Mä kertaan, että this program is called grafete. And it's a map program, real world bookmarking. And we made uh, kind of like uh, some tasks uh, for the students, and they all exist in the schoolyard. And it uh, all involves uh, this um, space project we've been doing with these students. Uh, yeah. And uh, they've been playing kind of like a game that they are. Um, space invaders and uh, they've been doing a lot of stuff with these tablets and this involves that that he's going to put that hat on and he's going to be their um, kind of like supervisor and um, we're going to see a little video where uh, we're going to go to an asteroid and there's going to be a, a spaceship and all the tasks are going to be like um, now you've arrived to this asteroid, how many big rocks you can see and take a picture and add it to the map. And uh, I can explain the, I, yeah, I can explain the tasks mm -hmm. you guys later after we start this and the kids go outside. The second graders are teaching the fifth graders to use a map uh, program. Uh, we've done um, kind of like a task to the schoolyard, and there are different kind of things the kids have to do. When they go to this uh, blue dot, there will be a task for them. Now we uh, decide, well, we've uh, tried a few times that um, kind of like pair learning. Uh, that um, another student teaches another student something that they've already learned. And today we decided that because the second graders already know this uh, map stuff, so we will put them to teach the fifth graders. A teacher can decide how she or he will teach the stuff that are in the curriculum. We have uh, one major thing is map in the second year. So this is kind of my decision that I want to um, teach map uh, by using these tablets. Uh, we have strict curriculum, what we follow. But how we work is up to us. And it's, it, it gives freedom, it gives uh, trust for us as a teacher. So we can give that um, also trust for the kids. So they can also have the um, freedom to work. The positive thing is that the teacher has a lot of freedom in Finland. We have a lot of freedom to, to uh, teach the subjects in the curriculum in the way we want. So really individual um, uh, possibilities. Every teacher has their own way of teaching and their own way to teaching the subject of the curriculum. Some people don't use books at all in some, some subjects, not at all. So they teach it otherwise. And that's possible. So this is for an example, for, for example. And we can use this programming for, for uh, doing things. So it really encourages you to experiment new things when, when the basics, uh, the, the structure is uh, supporting it. And also the management, the principals uh, support this. Teachers have their own ways, and they are not uh, always coming and looking how you're doing. This is going wrong, but we got freedom. So that's, I think, that's the one main thing in Finnish education system that makes it really work.
the teachers have the ability to be creative and uh, choose their own methods. We were talking about passion, we've talked about it time and time again during this trip, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing, and, and we have that back home, we have a bunch of passionate teachers back home, but I think where we're really seeing a difference here is that those teachers are given the tools and the flexibility within the curriculum to essentially put that passion to play. When you have these passionate teachers then, and who will invite other teachers, please come to my class and see what's going on. And maybe other teachers are um, get excited about that. And hey, I want to learn too. Because that's a thought we have that uh, they could probably next semester teach a class and then they can invite another teacher who, who knows nothing about scratching to come there and to learn. Yeah and also get excited about it. That's the idea. When we started in January, we started in a scratch club, mm -hmm. and we took there for very much special education children, and also children who had this um, low social status, and also few of with high skills of social skills. And it did went very well. The kids who had problems, like, they, they cannot speak with other children. They start punching when the <laughs> things go wrong. They just work together. Ten years ago I started to be principal. And we haven't at all technology here. We have a lot of literature. But what I enjoyed a lot here was the uh, uh, ability for teachers to make cooperation. And my vision of education is a holistic future-oriented school culture. Some persons talk about blended education, but um, my idea is that we have an integration of collaboration, creativity, art and educational technology. And this year, 2010-2011, was my pedagogical flow year because we started to make this innovative pedagogy. We made this Magic Forest musical together with 250 students and 30 teachers and school assistants. We saw the fact that um, the holistic approach is another thing that you can opt in on. And we saw that where the, similar to business, if you have this greater purpose or greater goal uh, within the school, that it kind of gives all these students um, something to all drive towards. So all together, one, two, three, So Magic Forest was how do we how do we create a um, uh, every year this musical where the kids every kid gets a chance to be part of the creative they get to use various uh, technology uh, mediums uh, approaches whatever uh, they can input different ideas and it really is it's a groundswell of uh, all the students and teachers and like it forms in a different creation every year it literally does it's almost like long form improv of sorts of how it eventually ends up being this masterpiece at the end Instead of having it where someone's learning something but they don't quite know how this fits into life, this gives them an example of a life event that they can see how it kind of fits in. And I think that probably sinks in a lot more for a, for a child to be able to think about that yeah. and know that that 
you know, I'm learning this and this is why I'm learning this. And they may apply it totally different later on in life, but it, it was applied then and I got it. But the idea is to give the charge to the kids, even if we plan it. It's quite free and it's quite flexible. We try to be as flexible we can, that uh, what, they, what they do, they, they, they decide, they plan it, they make it, and uh, they have the whole thing. So uh, we are pretty much in the background. Yeah, yeah. Just watch. So it's helping, yeah. yeah. It's nice, I have been demoing like few, few solutions that they can use. Okay. And I, I, have, I haven't said anything that you have to use it. You can if you want, if it suits you, use it. And some of them are using it, some of them are not. Some of them want to do traditional work, but most of them are, are really into tech, yeah, in, engaging in technology and using of ICT. Yeah. So, so it's really, really, really nice. nice. So this would be, what, is there a subject you teach or this is more of a free? Uh, the, this, is, this is geography okay. for me. For me. Nice. And, and uh, I'm teaching... It is geography. Yeah, right? yeah. This could be a very good model for every school to be modern, 21st century school. It's not only uh, that we make musical, we can make what kind of project at all and we need to think what kind of uh, valuable skills children learn in this kind of pedagogy. They learn to respect pluralism and heterogeneity and they learn to uh, culture of enrichment of interaction. I, was, I almost cried a few times. Like there was like some great moments where you could see how much fun these children were having and how much engaged they were. I mean, I don't know which pieces you'll see, but they were they were when they were singing, they were belting out the song. And at first, I was wondering how how in the world did they get them to do that? And then we saw how they did, got them to do that. These kids were engaged in this project from the start. I mean, that's the song, the whole magic forest principle that we saw in that second school, right? The, the whole creative aspect of, of tying all the learnings within this almost imaginary world was just driving the interest of students from all disciplines, right? There were, you know, robots were involved in the robotics piece, the, the, the kids essentially, you know, doing the melodies, building the songs, uh, you know, making videos, I mean, all these, these skills that we use in everyday work, right? We're kind of pulled in to this broader, you know, mission vision about what, you know, what they were there for. So, Anyway, so that really got me fired up, there's no doubt. This, this, the, how much potential can come, not from government policies and all that, right, but just by enabling the folks that are on the ground, have the information, have the passion to get to where we want them to get to and the way they think and their team thinks they, they can make it happen.